Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to WCS America Challenger League, the final day of WCS America Season 1. I'm Axel Toss. I'm joined by Axe Lab. We got Tilia versus Huang Sin, tied 1 1. I'm loving this series, man. It's sick. I it? love watching Tilia play. It's like I, her. She, I've, I'm a fan. Her, her whole style is hatcheries, man. <laughs> it does, like, just build enough hatcheries across the whole map. She's as like, early in as. She had like nine bases. At the end there? Yeah, so I, I mean, like I might have been eight. I'm sorry, yeah. it might have been ten. I'm, I'm off, I might be off by one or two, but. I'm offended that you're off by one or two, Nick. Uh, I mean, the thing is, is just like, if you have that many bases, just take whatever you want. Yeah. Right? And you just got to identify what your opponent is doing and, and make the right decisions as far as what units to build. We were a little bit worried in the beginning there. I mean, if you have nine bases, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, I guess. <laughs> I guess we've seen that. <laughs> we'll have to see what happens here, though. Cloud Kingdom. Oh, and this is one where Capachi did like four base. She went one, two. She went five bases, six yes! hatcheries. She kept before taking them everywhere. Yeah, I remember that. She never attacked Larry. She's like, I'm just keep building hatcheries. And 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 Kapachi just kept attacking each one and, and denying them. It was fun though because it took like I remember that. He did like that. a two base all in. Wow. But it, it was like a half hour game because he just kept walking around the map. Right. And like she was so much weaker, but she just like kept building bases. Yeah. As fast as he could kill them almost. Uh, wow. Okay. Let's see what happens here. In game number three, this is the decider, ladies and gentlemen. The winner of this game will advance to WCS America Premier League Season 2. Pretty big deal. And honestly, a lot of people might be a little bit surprised to see this person this close. In the top right-hand location, I present your Red Zerg player. Took down Illusion 2-1 to one to get to this point after falling in the first game. Same thing happened here. She fell in the first game, but can she win two in a row once again to secure her spot in the Premier League Season 2? She is Telia. Of course, hailing from New Zealand. Uh, I think Kiwi is the term. Is it? I don't know if it's... I don't think that's a technical term. Well, it's, it, it, yeah. it, it, it's not offensive, is it? I no. Know. Okay. No. I, I, that's just uh, I, don't, I don't think I, so. You never know, right? You, you know, people say these things. And I, I don't want to be offensive, but... Kiwis, delicious fruit, Nick. They are. I love them. I love them, too. You, you make a little fruit salad with them and, like, strawberries? Yeah. Uh, that's too much work, man. No? <laughs> I, I, just, I get a knife, I chop it in half, then I get a spoon, and I go to work. That'll work. That'll that, work, that's, too. That's my method. But the bottom Great line, location, yes. Uh, that's, again, too much work. But <laughs> I, I appreciate the sentiment all the same. In the bottom of the location, I present your blue Protoss player trying to take this game and take first place in this group. Hailing from Korea and representing Team Quantic Gaming, he is Wong Sin. So, Cloud Kingdom is going to be the battlefield for this deciding game number three. And we're seeing a pool from Telia. Well, yeah. She did this in the first game against Wong Sin. Yeah. Pool first. Uh... Of course, Cloud Kingdom a, a little bit of a shorter rush distance compared to like a. Like it's a, it's funny because I I think he he was getting to forge and he was thinking about if she was going to do a three hatch craziness. Uh, um, he, he went Nexus first and, and then forge, but still, if, he, if they go three hatch before pull, you could probably still cannon rush. Yeah, he's like enough of this. If you yeah. do that again, I'm going to send cannons at you. But Link's going to try to track down this probe. We'll have to see if that probe gets taken out. Wall getting put up here from Huang Sin. I, I really just want to see nothing but hatcheries for the next, like, four minutes. You might be pleased. You know, what if you got enough hatcheries, you could actually produce queens at a high rate? And that was, like, your whole army just went upgraded queens. Be sick, huh? That'd be really good. Guardian Shield would, would, would wreck your day. Yeah. That would Guardian Shield's, like, the only thing that's a really hard counter to queens. Oh, that's kind of funny. There's the third hatchery. Um... Yeah, I'm starting to get deja vu feelings of uh, Kapach versus I'm, Telia. I'm just waiting for the fourth hatcher to go Let's down. See. At like the 5.30 mark. Could happen. Six Zergings. Eight, oh. Wait, this is a lot of Zergings. No speed. Yeah, this is, this is uh, very unusual to get this many Zergings. Still no gas, too. Yeah. I mean, th that's a little less unusual. Um, sometimes you just want to focus. Sure. More. This is, this is a slow Zergine well, one. I, I meant... Oh my god, it is. Well, it is. I, I meant the lack of gas as far as whenever getting this many zerglings. Oh, oh yes, you're gonna yes, have yes, yes. Gas for speed. You're right. Um, this is definitely an all in. And you know what? Moment. As long as the probe can't spot it, the, the scouting probe's gonna be key here. Uh, well, first that, then a stalker later, but. Huangsen's always so good with his scouting, but. But you know what? It's, I, easy, I don't think to, it's easy to avoid the probe, right? She hasn't, she hasn't revealed any more zerglings yet. Oh, because he needs the ones. 
Did he see them? I don't know. I, I don't think he did. Okay, uh, let's look at. If, okay, if the he did, he would make a way. full wall in. Um, the stalker's just gonna he's go. Not making a full saunter wall. Saunter across the map. Oh, and a stalker's gonna miss a lot of these. You know, uh, with key here, uh, what they can do is they can go straight for the side core. And uh, well, first, obviously, you just want to make make sure to put us walls in there. But they full wall in. That Psycho is actually exposed a bit. You can put a lot oh. of Zergings on it. And now Huang Sin knows the Ling's trying to press their way through. Let's see what she targets. The pylon, the pylon, not the Psycho. Okay, and that can work too. Huang Sin's going to try to complete that wall with a second cannon. Is this going to work? I don't know. I feel I, like I, I feel like targeting the Psycho might be the best option there. I, I, I like targeting the Psycho too because you, you don't have to go all in with it. Um, because once you kill the Psycho, you can drone up like crazy and there's no warp gate, right? Uh, so There's drones in production, I think. And now she's yeah, now she's too late to go for the side core, so. I mean that's wow. the thing, if a Wong Protoss Sin, is, is good at building buildings, uh, you're Wong not gonna break him, right? Wongson is so good at building building buildings. Yeah. He should be an architect in in when he in his later years. But you he, do if have he ever decides to stray away from programming. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. Though do architects really build buildings? They technically do. No, they you should design them more, but Okay. Uh, it's a lot of work because of building a building. Anyway. There is. Well I mean He's not actually building them. He's just telling the probes where to place them. Sure. And the probe is actually initiating. So that is more like an architect. Yeah, it is. Yeah, okay. Exactly. He's, he's, he's in charge of the design of right. the, the base layout. Positioning. Uh, cool. So yeah, w without killing the... Like, normally right now, Zerg just wants to build nothing but drones. Um, but with the warp gate done, there, there's a little more of a threat than there would be if uh, the Psycho was down. Uh, it's still not game over. No. Tilly is definitely very far behind. Needs to make sure not to lose too many queens here. Uh, we don't want okay. deja vu from game one for Tilia. Okay, backup plan though. Okay. Make a lot of hatcheries. Oh, you're right. I don't know if that hatchery is gonna. Oh, the Voyager's well, I mean, not really heading. Yeah, that direction, why is would. It? Like, what Protoss would expect a Zerg to go the fourth hatchery before their first gas? Maybe Huangsen watched the game uh, Kapach Tilia. Yeah. In fact, I would be willing to bet a lot of money he did. Right? Because he Probably. knew he might be yes. playing her. This time she has a spore crawler out, so uh, she's not going to lose all her queens in the start. Good. Game one. Well, don't jinx anything, Nick. <laughs> not all of them, I said. Not necessarily. Some the, might lose a lot. The Axe Lab curse. Yeah. Uh, so. Doesn't say that, I mean, the situation is, is Tilia, when you do this build, uh, you, you you basically have to go into nothing but drones after that as a Zerg player, which is what she did for a little while. Um, that's, yeah, that's Zerg attack. But they, they get a scout off. Uh, see if there's a lot of gay beings behind there or whatever. Oh. The problem that Tilly has is her tech is so late, right? Yeah. There is just started now at about the 10 minute mark. Oh, a lot of queens here. Can they take down the Void Ray? No. None of them had enough energy for transfuse. That drone is heading. That drone is heading to build a fifth hatchery. Oh. At the, at the bot, at the I don't right. believe you. I. You can't prove it. I can't prove it, but we'll, we'll see. There'll be there'll be another drone there in, in a bit. See. See? Okay, Nick. <laughs> Here it goes. <laughs> this is this is the new style. Drone, Zerg versus this hatchery, is, queen. This isn't Zerg versus Protoss, by the way, guys. This is this is Tilia Zerg versus anything. You just build a lot of hatcheries. And drones and queens. She has a lot of drones, yeah. And when you, what's the worst that happens? You lose the hatchery? Spar. 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 Just evac the drones, right? Oh. That'll work too. Oh, but then more drones coming. Uh. If she can get her queens over there. She has enough queens she can actually take on there. Uh, cause Colossus on the way. Which is mildly concerning, I think. It, it is. Um, a lot of queens are <laughs> queens in hatcheries, right? Like. There's eight queens on the map. If she just makes non-stop queens, I actually almost would like to see her upgrade. To, well, she's going so zerg and baby heavy too. Uh, and Hwansing's gonna head and take a third base. So it's hard to tell. Should you? I don't. Thing is, I'm not sure if you could have gone for two base timing. Force oh. would have been. Oh, this is this is cool here. Cheeky. Yes. It would have been nice to see this. There's no Zerking speed. Yeah, uh, gonna have to rely on queens and drones. Oh, and a queen with the energy is one to low. to hold this off. Oh, gotta back up. Hold position, micro. Wow. Nice oh, micro. Look at that. She listened to you, man. Yeah. The Zealots are confused. They're like, why are y'all still? I don't know what to attack anymore. And now they're gonna... Oh, there's another whole position. Oh, transfuse one queen. Oh. oh, lost the high energy queen. Okay, meanwhile, I think Phoenix is still looking for stuff to kill. Them. Oh, another queen's gonna go down there. Units lost. Oh, some more Zelts. This harass is actually getting pretty annoying. Um, yeah. I mean, uh, gotta kill that war prism. I think it's, is it still lurking somewhere? Uh, yes. Yeah. I mean, but how is she gonna kill, right? Queens. Yeah. If it, if it gets too far in a creep, queens are there. Oh, war prism's faster now, by the way. It is. It is. Uh, even, even before, though, it could, you sure. know. I uh, just thought I'd point that out. Yes. 
And it, that does help this build. Now, Tilia is again getting drop going 1 1, getting a lot of queens. Which a lot is of drones. Cool. A lot of drones. Hydra Den's on the way. You gotta get those overlords too. So you get supply locked. Yes. Oh, she is actually. There's Okay, there's a bunch of production. I I, I almost One, feel two, she three. almost needs to go fast hive because he's. As a Colossi count grows, it's gonna become a problem. So, like Vipers, you think? Yeah, I, I think Vipers. Or, you know, with drop tech, who knows? Maybe she could make some drop tech work, or, or of course, she could always go to Spire as well. Um, but. This is like so deja vu, like that Kapoch game. Yes. Isn't it? Isn't it? Well, Kapoch never took a third, I don't think. No, I think he did. Did he? Yeah. Okay, maybe you're right. I think maybe he did. Right. Uh, let's go back now, let's see. That. This is going to be big here. If if uh, if she can... She can hold us off. She has yeah. to evacuate that. Or she... Yeah, she might decide to abandon this space, which is fine. It's her fifth. Just get the drones out. Yeah. Or get she might try to hold it, you know? She uh, she does have a supply lead. That's pretty significant. If you can get a con game on this ramp. If she can drop babies, she can take out, like, the sentries. There's no force field. The Hydra Queen on creep might just overrun the Protoss <gasps> army. Oh, it looks like there's a little bit of a harass at the, at the third base. Oh, That's going to be dealt with. Yeah. You know, this actually... Wants things, uh, trading minerals. Which may, may not be the best idea against an opponent who has so much income, right? Because uh, if you just trade minerals, like... They don't mind. She, Tilly has, she can easily replace minerals. Look at this concave at the bottom. You can't let Huang Xin get position here. Did he make a mothership quarter? Why does he ever not make one? Uh, that's an excellent question, actually. Okay, well, here we go. Tilly coming in here. A lot of banelings oh, in these overlords. Oh, this time it drops the batter on the sentries, too. Oh, now, is there going to be anything remaining to support the Colossi? Tilly trying to charge in here. She has a supply lead, a big one. 157 to 102. Making this work, and Wong Sin is gonna have to back up. He is, and he lost. You know, he kept his important units, but Tilia didn't really lose uh, too much there either, and she can replace stuff so fast. Oh yeah. Uh, Another zealot harass, but uh, uh, she has plenty of speed to deal with. She this. does, and and when you're on, I I really like I love uh, super tons of zealot harass when you have a super economy as Protoss, but you're sure. on three bases. It's, yeah. Uh, that, when you're throwing these units, it's it like, comes at a cost of your army, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's it, it's and kind of like floating a lot of gas too. So it's like uh, not a lot. But. Yeah. And the zealots are do help out in your army. You're not useless. Uh, they're they're very good against uh, helping soak up some of the damage from from the speedings. And and right now he has no uh, no sentries. Right, he lost them all. And he doesn't he can't really afford to rebuild them because uh, there's so many other things he wants to spend uh, his gas on. I mean he he could rebuild a few maybe good idea, but he he can't get a lot of sentries. This basically. style of play is just it's fascinating. I'm getting a little tickle in my tummy watching this this play. It's, it's, it's kind of inspiring. I want to see your drop creep right now and put a creep tumor on top of this ridge. That would be so helpful. Where'd you get that? That's a great idea. Someone told me it. Uh, I think it was in game one of the series. Really? Yeah. The, the players type it out or something? That's. And, oh, and you know what? Our uh, director, did our director yeah. tell you? That's it, it was it was a director. Adam's a very smart guy. Adam's a good guy. Yeah. He's an okay guy. All right. Telia coming forward here with the Lings, Banelings, Hydras, Queens, and Overlords. This There's no enough. storm yet. Storm is so good against this, by the way. Oh, look, she's doing it. Drop the creep. Drop the I mean, she sure he did it on top of the ridge as well. Oh, so yes. She, she had already done it. Nice. Now, another little Zell attack, and all the units are distracted. But this this could determine the game. She could actually just focus the Nexus. And just kill it. Yeah, just, I mean, she can afford this to throw away all the bane. Oh, the probe's just like, I'm out of here. Yeah, he's afraid. That's a scary army. That is. Tilly's max. She's okay making trades. Look at this. Sending some bailings to the main. Maybe. Maybe. It, it could be that there is drop tech available. All right, Zell's going to try to do some counter aggression, but Tilia completely shutting down this third base. No probes yeah, I mean, mining there. Trading a third for third when Tilia has like six. 17 hatcheries. Yeah. Actually, she might lose a couple of bases here, but I mean, it, it doesn't actually, honestly, kill this. This Nexus is so important for Wansing. I don't know There's what I'm creep watching. creep everywhere. I don't know what I'm watching. You know, if she just puts a bunch of tumors there, he's never going to retake that base. Like, ever. It's going to take so long. Get your, uh... Well, is Huang, can Huang Sin win this, you think? What do you think? <laughs> I don't know. I, this think. looks <laughs> like, I, I'm trying to, uh, uh, okay, so the third is taken down. Two hatcheries that, I mean, yes. she cares a little bit about, but. Oh, I mean, it, it hurts her. It hurts no, her. Oh, certainly. But uh, it hurt Huang Sin more to lose that But base. it's like if, 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 uh, if like a bear gets a scratch. It's yeah. like. It's just a flesh wound. Yeah, still, it's still a very. A, a mighty presence. Okay, there's there's Templar here. I like that. And you know what? <gasps> I, Queens, run. I don't mind him preserving the army because he, he does Queens. need to fight with Storm. Uh, this is where you use a billion transfers. Transfers. Yeah. Transfers. I mean, Queens are cheap. Yeah. What I'm really surprised by is that she hasn't gone to Hive yet. It's kind of interesting. Uh, 
I mean, she has so much resources. But uh, maybe she just wants to make sure she's all the gas. We could see like a mass meter switch if she builds up enough gas, you know, potentially after an engagement. Um, there also hasn't been a static defense to protect those hatcheries. Look at this, uh, spreading out those units. Is she taking both the corner bases too? Yeah, I like that. Oh, nice little storm. They're trying to weaken right. Look at this attack. Oh, coming in. The Oven Lords. Lots of Banelings inside these. The Templars running for their lives. Again, the Banelings are going to try to target those guys down. Storms everywhere, though. Walks in with a very solid engagement. In fact, he's keeping a lot of his yeah. expensive units you know, alive. And that's what's important in an engagement like this. So much of Tilly's armor got stuck in that one ramp. Oven Lords are right? gone, too. So remaxing is not going to be uh, as possible as it was before. Go, Queens, go. I don't know if that's possible. The Stalkers are going to blink in. The Colossi frying everything. Wow, is Watson going to turn this game around? He's only on two bases. Again, it's 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 Protoss, right? you, you got to keep those expensive units alive. If you can do that, you're going to be happy. And Hwang's in doing that. This is a scary army. Uh, it's, it's terrifying. And, and she's remaking Hytridus and Banings, which could be problematic against Psy, Storm, and Colossi. Do you go for like, the base trade with Queens? Uh, you can't engage this. I'm yeah. sorry. Uh, oh, this, no. this is actually looking pretty bad now. Looking very dire indeed. Banings trying to drop on whatever they can find. But Hwang Sin turning this game around. Uh, again, just really, really good micro, controlling his units properly, taking really good engagements, remarkably good engagements, something he has to do, and Tilly is going to have to GG Huang Sin somehow, someway, wow. winning that. What a game. What a rewatch there. I don't know what we just watched. You know, the, the problem was is that uh, about half our army was trying to flank from um, the top ridge. Yeah. And it was a lot of it was queens off creep, and then we, one queen got kind of stuck on the ramp, and the rest kind of got stuck behind her, and they were kind of just... Yeah. Uh, there was a traffic jam during a battle, uh, and that's not what you want to have happened. I mean, it, it's like in the movies. The disasters happens, and all of a sudden there's traffic jams. And yes, it always, people, that always happens, doesn't it? It does. And when queens are involved, it's even worse. Yeah, because they're slow. It's it's like it's not traffic jam the cards. It's like if right. they're like people walking and yeah. just can't get through the door. Cause it's Blanc Sin uh, pulling it out of nowhere, able to make it work after losing his third base, keeping his composure, just mining enough resources from that base to be able to get the Templars out, get enough resources, keeping all his Colossi alive throughout, able to make it work. And Huang Sin will be in WCS America Premier League Season Two. We have one spot remaining. One spot remaining in WCS America Season 2. It's either going to go to Suppy, Illusion, or Telia. Coming up next, guys, it's going to be the loser's match between Suppy and Telia in this final group of the Challenge. Or sorry, sorry, sorry. Suppy versus Illusion in this final group of the Challenge League. Stay tuned. More StarCraft coming up.